We saw behind those two gentlemen, folks, Carolina fans yeah. trickling out in Phoenix. Well, here's a live look in Chapel Hill on Franklin Street. Students filling that street. Now let's go ahead and check in with our Justin Quisenberry. He's out there. Hi, Justin. <laughs> go Hill! Go Hill! <laughs> go Hill! <laughs> Everybody, a huge crowd out here on Franklin Street. Take a look. They started rushing right after that. Very close, but very big win. And look at all this. Huge crowd. Lots of excitement. And you know, the funny thing is, a lot of people were superstitious. After last year's uh, win headed to the championship, they rushed. But we know how that championship turned out. Still, that did not deter some fans from the beginning. Take a look at some fans we talked to. This was the low-key reaction at Sup Dogs to Carolinas. The other Carolinas lost to Gonzaga. I was really hoping for a Carolina Carolina final, but Gonzaga's a good opponent. Um, oh, knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood. But some fans were not ready to talk about even the possibility of Monday's championship game. Yeah, no, you have to knock on wood like for anything about Carolina winning. Like you should be knocking on wood. Across Franklin Street and up at top of the hill. Eyes focused on the Tar Heels battle at hand against Oregon. Hey, it's alive, man. Everybody's it's real energy, real energetic. So it's high. Unstoppable, baby. I love Chapel Hill. I moved back here, so it's awesome. I mean, it's awesome. I didn't even go here, but I'm a Heels fan. The Tar Heels played in Phoenix. Fans could watch on TV anywhere, and many chose Chapel Hill. Including Jim Spanos and his 2014 UNC graduate son David. Jim came from New Jersey. David from Chicago. Why did you guys want to be here? Oh, just to experience the atmosphere of the Tar Heels in the Final Four. It's the epicenter of Carolina basketball. As big as this game was, some fans could not help looking ahead to the championship. Big game, obviously. There's a bigger game right after it, but you know. After this one, that's the way I feel kind of about that. Despite the heartbreaking loss in the big game last year. We don't even live in the past, we live for the future. Our Justin Quisenberry there now becoming one with the crowd on Franklin Street. <laughs> yes, we even saw our Bill Ray and his wife Shields out there having a good time as, as they're out there partying. All on the